from all angles, helicopters, terrain parks, untouched peaks, and endless powder fields. If it takes your breath away, we're there to ride it. The Mountaintop Ski and Snowboard Series is sponsored by Aspen Snowmass Skiing Company. Come live it. Micah Heli Guides, the global leader in heli skiing. And Island Lake Cat Skiing, experience the legend. This is the story of a tree. Actually, it begins and ends with a tree. This tree. But the story is mine. That's me, Nick DeVore. I'm a professional Telemark free ski mountaineer. Take a look. This is my life. It's a great life. I'm living the dream. But, like any dream, it comes at a cost. I haven't lived in the same place for more than four months since I was 16. I'm working on a new dream now. Or rather, taking this dream and combining it with another. That's my teepee. When I'm not traveling, I live here. The more I see the world, the more I realize that the way we're living has to change. So, I've been learning to farm and hunt and trying to spend more time exploring the mountains in my own backyard. I recently bought a piece of land on a steep hillside in the Elk Mountains of Western Colorado. I plan on building a house out of recycled materials and growing and hunting my own food. I know it sounds a bit out there, but what I'm talking about is an experiment in conscious living. Blending my passion for skiing with my beliefs in sustainability. That's my plan. But, back to the tree. And, well here's the irony. To understand the tree, we've got to start halfway around the world in Morocco. Here, at the Casablanca train station. I see this trip as potentially one of the last sort of exotic ski trips that I will go on before I start planting seeds back home. On this trip, I'm really, really interested in, in their lifestyle and trying to pull and learn what I can from the way they're living and bring that home to Colorado. It's really overwhelming here in Marrakesh. People everywhere, people hassling you, trying to get you to go in their taxi, come ride with me, buy this, and, uh, a little bit stressful, but really amazing at the same time. And uh, there's just so much going on, and the culture's so rich. And the people are really outgoing and friendly. Okay. I'll uh, call me on the, the orange. How much? Yeah. No, no, you. Uh, Est-ce que tu pouvais beaucoup de jus d'orange? Oui. Oui, toujours. toujours. Comme ça, c'est bon. 
Are, are amazing because it's they're on such a steep hill and uh, they're probably just, you know generations old and um, I'm really excited to see it because it gives me inspiration for my new property in Marble that I'm hoping to to do the same thing on it. At Cox Business, we believe in giving back to our community. Through Cox Cares, we support important local programs. Meet Haley. She's a fifth grade superstar, thanks to technology from Capistrano Unified School District, made possible by Cox Business. With high-speed web access, Haley's getting a head start in her math class and a head start on her future. We'd like to thank our customers for partnering with us to support our community. Together, we can make a difference. Too many bills? Think you can't afford auto insurance? Did you know there's a state program that makes it possible to get liability insurance for under $400 a year? Good drivers owning a vehicle valued at $20,000 or less who meet the income requirements may qualify for the state of California's low-cost automobile insurance program. Find out if you qualify. Call 866-602-8861. Do you qualify? Great. What are you waiting for? Call 866-602-8861. Agricultural practices and terraces and farming is just so amazing and inspiring. The place is just giving this unbelievable feeling that kind of transcends time and giving me a sense of amazement and, and kind of hope that this is still going on in the world.
here at the refuge is hilarious. Here I am, telemark free skier rolling in with my baggy pants and my stiff telly boots. And then there's there's all these all these Euro climbers trying to summit the tallest mountain in North Africa, and there's all the Spaniard climbers in tights hanging out, and people are looking at guidebooks and talking about these different climbing lines. And then there's the Moroccan guides who are just making a living doing it, and they're playing cards. There's a fire going. It's cool to bring all these different nationalities together for the same reason. More refreshing after spending a few days in the mountains, skiing, skiing, skiing in Africa, and then coming down to some fresh squeezed orange juice here at the little shack. Pretty uh, awesome. I'd recommend ski mountaineering in Morocco for the orange juice. Around now, you might be wondering whatever happened to that tree I was telling you about. We're finally getting to that part. It was on our way back out of the mountains that the tree turns up. I was totally inspired by the high altitude terrace farming along the way. 
So I set out trying to track down some seeds to plant on my own land. And somewhere in translation, seeds became saplings. This one is cherry. These apple. two, yeah. Cherry. These two and these it's pruned for cherry it. and walnut. Exactly. Exactly. For example. Great. You can also, for example, the one you can do this like this. Okay. Here, and the other one here. The other one's just nearby. Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. We got a bag of bag of walnut seeds here from Imlil. High altitude walnut terrace farming uh, mecca here in Africa. And also some, some fruit trees. Should be interesting getting these home. It'll be pretty amazing if I can bring these Moroccan Atlas Mountain fruit trees home to plant in marble. And uh, yeah, cherry trees and walnut trees in the high Atlas Mountains. Pretty exciting. Now the trick is going to be to pack it into my ski bag and smuggle it back into the States. So hopefully the dogs don't come, but if they do, I've got uh, ski socks from, you know, I hate to admit it, but actually almost a month of uh, traveling and skiing in Italy and Morocco without washing these babies. So hopefully uh, that'll cover up the stench a bit. Oh, nice. Ah, cereal as well. Yeah. yeah. Like this, you can plant this. Okay. Nice. Some wheat or rye, some sort of grain here. It's not rice. Not rye. Uh, rye, rye, yeah. Yeah. But it's not rice. Not rice, yeah. And uh, good luck. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> yeah. Good, good luck, luck trying to uh, yeah. take it home. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Left American. Yeah. Colorado. Hey. Et voilà. Voilà, voilà. Oh. Yeah, that's about 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> nice. no, you, can live, you can live that Yeah. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Great. Hi, I'm Laird Hamilton. I've ridden some of the biggest waves. I biked across countries and I paddled across the English Channel. And none of that scares me. Here's what scares me. Another oil spill like the one in the Gulf of Mexico happening somewhere else. This tragic and devastating spill is sickening proof that offshore drilling is not the answer. Join me and the Surfrider Foundation in demanding that President Obama reinstate the federal moratorium on offshore drilling. Visit notTheAnswer.org to make a difference. plan my wedding in time. Don't worry. Hotelplanner.com can save you time and money on your wedding. We're your hotel event specialist. <laughs> I don't want to share a room with 14 other guys. There's got to be a way for our team to travel without us sleeping on the floor. Never fear. Hotelplanner.com coordinates events of any size. We're your hotel event specialist. We need to go to this year's conference with the new budget cuts. Any ideas? Hotelplanner.com can get you free meeting rooms for your next conference or corporate event. We're your hotel event specialist. <laughs> Great rates for special dates. Hotelplanner.com
<laughs> yeah, I'm Berber man now. <laughs> I've gotten into surfing in the last, you know, three or four years, and since I've started to figure out and got a little bit better at it and watched good surfers, I've really been inspired by the style of surfing. As I'm trying to grow as a skier and evolve my skiing style, surfing has been a huge influence for me. And now I'm really trying to bring out more surf style and skiing. And I feel that Telemark skiing in specific is very similar to snowboarding and surfing and that it's all a toe side snowboard turn or toe side surf slash or whatever. I'm trying to be bring more of that creative surf style into my ski style. Found uh, Surf Berber here and m met this cool guy Mark who's real friendly and uh, psyched, psyched to show us around and uh, he's giving us different beta on the different surf spots and kind of the seasons and the times of day and what's good when. It's been fun to talk to him and compare and contrast skiing and surfing and the similarities between the two and how they're both so dependent on nature and the weather and the time of day and the tides and the temperature and all those different things. You have you been searching for me? I've been running around and now I'm down on my knees. I go looking abroad, I've been sailing the seas. I go looking for love, but is it looking for me? I'm the captain of a ship, boy, an astronaut in space, traveling around the world and searching for a pretty face. I've been looking on high, checking below the lows, but the only thing I find is myself still alone. I've been searching for you, have you been searching for me? I've been running around and now I'm down on my knees. I go looking abroad, I've been sailing the seas. I go looking for love, but is it looking for me? After a long time of thinking and brainstorming about my ideas, uh, this is kind of the beginning of my experiment here, high altitude farming. And uh, after a long winter of skiing in Alaska and freezing and, and um, getting lots of inspiration from Morocco where they're actually really living it and growing these trees at high altitude with minimal water, I'm excited to, to experiment and mess around and try, and try and make these trees survive. This 
elk poo here is black gold. You can grow food with this, and you can't grow food with money. Just planted these fruit trees that I brought back from Morocco here in my uh, first terrace beds on my land. And um, it's gonna be a challenge to get them rooted, but uh, I think I'll keep plastic over them for this first winter in this, in this hoop house and try and get th them established. And then hopefully when they become strong enough, they'll be able to survive up here. It's kind of a unique microclimate where it gets tons of sun and these terrace rocks will hold in the thermal mass as well as the water. And, ward off frosts and keep these fruit trees alive. It's been a long trip for them and they finally made it back to a uh, marble permaculture spot here and and uh, hopefully one day I'll be eating some uh, Moroccan walnuts. Here we are, right back where we started. I know this experiment isn't going to be easy. It's going to be a lot of work and there will be more failure than success, but the point is the experiment. And after all, if you knew how the story was going to end, it wouldn't be nearly as interesting, would it? At Cox Business, we believe in giving back to 